Welcome to the video. We've got the Tour Down Under coming up. It's not the Tour Down Under, but we're going to call it the... I call it the Corona. The Tour Down Under... <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. It's called the <laughs> Santos Cycle. I, I'm just going to call it the Tour Down Under Corona Edition. Because right? we're living in a new... It's a new normal now. Uh, so we've got... Um, for those who don't know, the Tour Down Under has been a, a bicycle race... Uh, here in Adelaide, South Australia. The first one was in 1999. And I've seen every edition. I think maybe except for 2001. It's been a fantastic time. Everyone who comes to the TDU, except the people who have some horrific crashes, has a really, really good time here. Adelaide's just a fantastic place to host an event like that. And in a couple of days' time, there is a four-day stage race, which is here to be a, you know, a mini, to, mini TDU. And I don't know who's racing it. There's no updates. It's Hard to find information because things are in flux. It's all, you know, border controls, <laughs> quarantine. But I, I'm pretty sure Richie Port's doing it. And I'm pretty sure Chris Harper's doing it. So I voted uh, Richie Port, number one rider, number one favourite to win this mini TDU. TDU Corona, whatever you want to call it. TDUC. Turn it under Corona Edition. Uh, Richie Port, we're going to go to his training in a minute. Also got Chris Harper there. We've got a pocket car, and we've got a few other riders as well. Going to look at, but I'll, I'll put my money on Chris uh, Harper as maybe a factor as well. He does have a bit of a heavier bike this year. He doesn't have his Bianchi. He's on a Chinese uh, disc aero bike, a Cervelo, which is okay. But oh, man, I think riders with good talent like that should be on a 6.8 kilo bike with lightweight wheels. You know, 1,200 gram wheels or less, not. 1500 gram wheels with rotors on them and stuff like that. But that, again, that's my personal opinion there, which all riders agree with, all pro level riders agree with, and all the pro team mechanics agree with, but marketing industry doesn't agree with it. So we give the riders what the brands want to sell. But with some like Team Sky, their budget, they're like, <laughs> we don't really care. We just want to win the race and we'll supply riders with what's needed to do, to do that. So Richie Port, he's number one favorite, lightest bike. Most experienced rider in the bunch this race, correct if I'm wrong. Definitely the most experienced GC level rider. Uh, loves January. Richie Port always comes to TDU. Fire him. He's like a Tassie Devil, a tanned Tassie Devil. And every time I see Richie Port out there, yeah, I'm like, yeah, he's a factor. You know, and uh, he just comes here just invigorated, looking forward to, uh, to wrapping up the climbs and stuff like that. So uh, my money's on a Richie Port for the win. Not sure, you know, how the uh, his training is going really good, which we'll get to in a second. And so Chris Harper's second. I don't know who else, is, who else is racing because there's no start list yet. Well, I couldn't find. If you can find a start list, let me know down below. There, um, there's no start list for I guess a variety of reasons. Or maybe I can't even find that start list. Anyway, let's let's get to the training. What training it takes to win the two and under Corona edition. Let's go over. The phone battery ran out of carbs. So Richie Poor is more of a, of a Tassie Devil physique, meaning he's just he was gonna handle a hot a lot better than someone maybe like a Rottweiler physique, like a track sort of style rider. So that's where you have a huge advantage if you want to be world class GC in, in hot weather most of the races. Tour de France, summertime, you need to have the ability to dissipate heat really well. So a Tassie Devil stature rider like Richie. Just really, really going to be hard to beat in the hot weather because he just dissipates the heat on these hot South Australian climbs where the sun's radiating at you know 1 p.m., 2 p.m. You know, and he's getting really hot, like 37 degrees Celsius. Someone like Richie's just going to dissipate that heat a lot better than a uh, a Roddy style rider. So you see, he's he's still in like crazy training, like 35 k an hour average speed. Um, yeah, there's not much wind going on there, like 80k an hour down here, which his cadence is 86, so he's, he's, he's charged, he is charged. Now, average speed does vary a lot, but if you've ever been in Tasmania, the road quality is not so good. So if this average speed was 35k an hour on the flat in Thailand, you'd be like, yeah, cool, whatever. But the fact it's in Tasmania, and there's elevation, and it looks like he's riding solo, maybe one other guy, that's some hardcore training going down there. That's like you know, 10% faster. He's training 10% harder than, uh, I shouldn't say 10% harder, he's performing 10% better than the current competition. 
there's going to be a few variables there for sure but we know which port is going to be affected and this right here 216 k's at moving time 16 hours 14 average speed 34.5 k an hour now granted not much traffic lights where it's going so average speed is going to be a bit more higher but the road quality tassie not the best it's like chunky tarmac hot mix uh, a bit warmer today 18 degrees celsius but Strava temperature can vary around so six hours 16 moving time with an elapsed time of 6 hours 45, so about 29 minutes off the bike. So pretty efficient, pretty effective training going there. Again, a max downhill speed, not 80k an hour, but hey, maybe he's doing a bit of a sprint there on a slight downhill, who knows. But we see Richie Port, he's on the brakes again. He's smiling, he's laughing. I reckon you're gonna put some money on the table. Richie Port's gonna be the man. Anyway, that's the wrap of the video. I'm um, looking forward to covering the race when it's here. Hopefully, we'll have a start list of who's actually racing, men's or women's. Um, I know there's uh, one local girl who's racing that I can confirm. That's Carly Taylor. Uh, she's having a race. So, but other than that, I think it's Annette Edmondson also doing the race. So I know just two local girls doing it. I know Chris Harper. We know that um, Richie Port's doing it. Who else is doing it? We don't know yet. Hopefully, we'll be updated on the Tour Down the website. But we're only like, what day is it? It's Monday today. We're, we're three days out and there's no start list. That's unusual. But okay, it's Corona times. It's the new normal.